Hello and welcome to Fusion Fundamentals with me MJ. Today we're going to be having a look at how to make this mushroom. You can see it's got a couple of organic looking features. We're just going to have a look at the various techniques we use to do this. So follow along for this step by step tutorial. What I've done here to get started is I've added a canvas. Um, I've put that the bottom of the mushroom on the origin. So I'm going to create a sketch on this front plane here. I'm just going to trace the, the stalk or the shaft, and then we'll do another sketch for the for the top of the mushroom. So as you can see, this is a, a somewhat organic looking image. So you don't often have lots of straight lines. You generally got some curves and some nice bends and things so I'm gonna be doing uh, using an ox and splines for this so for this bottom section here I'm just gonna do a little arc and I'll do the same for this and then when we do the top I will I will use uh, the spline tool So it looks like it more or less follows that curve and then just close off the profile with a straight line there. So now we've got a closed profile that we can um, re revolve. Finish that sketch. I'll do another sketch on the front plane. I want to have these sketches separate so that I can make separate bodies uh, when I do my sort of coloring in, adding the appearance to it. So. I'm going to continue this one from I think just below there so there's some overlap and then we get the spline tool and you're just going to want to follow that profile not too many spots um, but then around the edge here we can make a couple and I'm not too sure how thick a mushroom is, but something like that. Okay, I'm just going to adjust this top one over here. You can see you can adjust these lines and curves by shortening or bending the, the little arm there, the control arm. So finish sketch and now turn off the canvas and we'll use the revolve tool and select this profile and select that as the revolve axis. Now we can see it's made the cap of the mushroom quite nicely. Continue um, and then we'll do the same for this. Select that profile, select the axis as this upright one, and it's going to be a new body. Uh, like I said, I want to make these distinct bodies. Um, now we need to do these little ribs in here. So we could use the rib tool, or we could just um, make another profile and extrude it. So that's what I'm going to do. On this front plane, again, all three of these sketches are on the same plane. They're just separate sketches so they don't. Um, get uh, mixed up on their profiles. I'm going to select slice here and you'll see that we have access to where this is. So I'm going to just push P and I'm going to project these lines. So I should be able to snap onto them with my arc and then it'll hopefully be a closed profile. Let's see. Otherwise we can just trace around it. So there it's on it there, and there it snaps to that line. And we'll just curve it up a little bit. Um, doesn't look like a closed profile. Let's just go out and see. No, we don't have that upright over there. So let's go back in. And 
select SAS again. So it's not wanting to do that there. What we can do then is just draw a three point arc. So from that point to that point and just curve it in this way. I know it'll, there we go, we've got our closed profile. So this way I know it will cover the whole thing there. And extrude. So we'll go to it now. We've selected it. Uh, I'm gonna make it symmetrical. So it goes in two directions. And we can make that 0.2, how thick is that? Change the operation to new body. And that looks about right, that'll do. Now we are going to pattern that. So circular pattern and axis will be the shaft and let's go with 100. So that's a fair amount there, maybe make it 120. Okay, now you're going to see over here by the bodies, we have a ton of bodies. But what I want to do is these, um, these uh, fans or gills, whatever they're called, are going to be <coughs> the same color as the shaft. So I'm just going to join these bodies. So if I select combine over here, I'll select the target body as this body number two, and the tool bodies as three through to a hundred and twenty-two. I'll just press shift and then click on the bottom one. It's going to take a second while it computes this. And then we'll select OK and it will be joined. So now it's going to convert all of those into a single body. So I don't have so many bodies on my drawing. Here we go. So we can see that we've now got that nice and neat. Next thing we're going to want to do is this mushroom had these little, let's turn the cameras on, little white spots on it. So I'm going to make a couple of um, little white spots there and do that by creating a sketch on the front plane. Again I'll select slice. So I'm just going to do a couple of circles here, sticking out at various points and various heights, and then we'll pattern them. So we're going to do these circles and then revolve them. So I've still got to do a, a revolve axis. So once we've done this, we're going to have a ton of bodies but that's all right. I'll select the line tool and this will be our revolve axis for the body. The computer's running a bit slow today, sorry about that. Um, you can see I'm also just going more or less through the center line. It's not 100% accurate, but then when you're making organic shapes like this, it's symmetry is often sort of a giveaway that it's not quite as organic as you'd like it to be. I'm just going to fast forward through this. When I do the revolve, we'll know how to do the revolve tool, we've done it. So I will fast forward through this. Okay, so we got our bodies. What I'm gonna do is just add a, an appearance to them. So hopefully when we 
pattern them, they carry that appearance through. Turn up the sketches, and we're going to go white. Um, I could select all of them and drag it over. I've just now selected body one as well. Okay, and we're going to put this red on the top and maybe this gray over here. Now we're going to pattern these. So I'm going to go create pattern, circular pattern, and select. little dot Go five no I'm not going to make these all the same and give them different quantities so that they spread out more or less randomly okay and I'll just fast forward through this bit Okay, so there we've got our mushroom. Just going to jump into the render workspace and we can play with the lighting and see if we can get a good view of it. So yeah, in render we can uh, change a bunch of settings to the scene um, and the various options. So I'm just going to turn the brightness up and you can see it's got some shine on there, some gloss. And you can do various things, change the focal length, change the exposure. But I'm quite happy with that. And that's how we can make a little mushroom. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment down in the comment section. Um, you can get in touch with me at fusionfundamentals at gmail.com. My email is in the description. Till next time, bye.